Hey guys, it's Josh from NoFamagination.com and it's time for another studio update. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the studio, show you some cool miniatures, some finalized projects and talk about the work today. Okay, so let's get to it. Over here we have an almost finished project. There are a few models going to be added to this uh, of Alien vs Predator. Those guys are waiting for a video gallery to show up on our uh, page. And this is the first time that we did for the board game Alien vs Predator. And I'm really satisfied with this commission. Looking really cool. I'm an all time fan of HR Giger and his works of art. The alien is a really creepy and horrifying monster. I think most of the people in childhood at my age watched the Alien series as the Predator series as well. Here we have the Queen. So slime looking really cool. Her eggs. Really cool. Also we have this dropship. The rockets. And the vehicle. Really nicely. We have a level 6 special Christmas model. Grom Brinda. Over here. Boy, is this small beautiful. Look at the highlights. Really nice. Those are sneak peeks right now because most of the models I'm going to show you in the studio updates aren't yet on our YouTube channel or even on our gallery. So, this is the first look. Hello. Rafael. The orcs you're familiar with, looking really nicely. Orcs, 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 German orcs. It's a cool project. Chaos Nice for Age of Sigmar. Also waiting for a video. We have... I don't know this game actually. Dark Souls, I think. Really cool. Really cool. Okay. Over here we have some guild ball on level 4. Also looking really nicely. Really nicely. So we aren't painting only our hammer. Some death wing on level 4 as well. A look. As you can see, Delph Imagination is doing really clean paint jobs. We're not like dry brushing everything and leaving it like that. We're using airbrush for basic colors and using washes, highlights. Look at this model, it's really clean, really smooth. This is what you can expect for level 4 because. Well, because this is how we paint level 4. Really awesome models. Uh, and I'll show you an example of level 2. Also a clean paint job. Not as much highlights as seen on the Death uh, Wing guy before. But you can uh, see the difference clearly. The gems aren't picked out with the, uh, the glow. Uh, eyes aren't done. But um, all, most of the bigger surfaces are painted, washed, or uh, painted with an airbrush with a highlight. And this is like the cheapest level we paint. We don't paint level 1. We used to, but we don't anymore. So, this is the painting difference. And over here, Lemon Russ is on level... Rafa, this is on level 5. So you can see way more work on the metallics. Way more work with the highlights, with the edge highlighting, like lining blood effects 
the weapon is uh, more detailed really beautiful so we're in the painting area over here work in progress Magnus red on level 5 soon to be photographed as well big wing X wing which is X wing <laughs> Over here, more from the Allen vs. Predator commission that I showed you just a moment ago. Those are Wayland Titani commandos. We have some chaos in the works, like a, the corn army. Those are the bases for the corn army. And over here, next to Anya, a lot of work in progress. Heldrakes, Berserkers. Over here, a small project of tyranny, it's a Brudlord and a winged Hive Tyrant. The early stage for High Fleet Leviathan. Here we have two amazing level 5 models for Blood Bowl from Forge World. So as I told you before, there's way more work done with the highlights than on level 4. So this is the jaw dropper, and if you're really interested in like going all the way, you go for level six. It would like have even more details done. Small, smaller free hands like you see over here. There's a delicate free hand, so uh, on level six you could expect even more work like that. Over here, some work in progress. Iron warriors from Forge World. And some more over here. Got a lot of tanks, a lot of infantry. Armies is what we do the best. Those are the tanks. Work in progress. Over here, some more Blood Angels. It's like a continuation of uh, previous projects. Not one project. The army is getting quite big. It's one of our returning regular clients hello Alan those are yours uh, over here another big chaos project those are going to be like corn themed chaos army where the horrors yeah, space marines actually yeah space marines chaos space marines and those are uh, this is a themed army for corn the horrors are going to be like more black and red even the bird of cinch I'm going to show you in a moment also is done in red and there was a lot of conversion work done for the Berserkers. We yeah. used uh, Warp Talons, <coughs> Shoulder Pads, and Age of Sigmar Corn guys. And Blood Warriors. Blood Warriors and heads and backpacks from like Berserkers. Yeah. So looking really stylish. Gold, gold, gold. We need more gold. Yeah. There's they, never they enough gold. They hate painting gold. Uh, over here, the Cinch guy that I told you, big red bird. Oh, let's see, like flames done in red for the corn theme. Can't wait to see this. It's gonna look really super. And the assembly room. Hello. Hello. Guys are working on some alternative bases for a web store. The apocalyptic road. Base theme. This looks amazing. Yeah, assembly of the Trumvirat over here. Some conversion going yes. on over here. This is a reference, as you can see. This yes, is this is Ruvik. It will be with a katana. And this gonna be something like that. Awesome. Over here, some new prim primaries, marines. Those are going to be Raven Guard. Yep. Yeah. But ready with uh, forts uh, on repulsors and uh, captains. Awesome. Thanks, guys.
Okay guys, and for the final I would like to show you some photos of our uh, projects that we finished lately. So uh, this, uh, as you can see, is an Astro Militarum uh, army that we finished. Really big one, with cool Dunf Imagination bases and a lot of tanks. Looking really beautiful. Next we have a Necron Force army, winter themed, uh, with some uh, bases that we did with Cork and some uh, really cool blue highlights and blue OSL really nice, really nice skeleton heads awesome next we have next we have two vultures and two chimeras for the imperial guard or astro militarum as they like to call themselves today Next project uh, are Guardian of the Crimson King from Fordrill. This is a set with an additional two models, I believe, for the Thousand Sons army. We use our Ruined Temple bases for this with uh, white colored pavement, as you can see. I really like this product very much. The red contrast with the base, with the yellow and sand and the white tiles really nicely. And next. Uh, we can see uh, this is an alternative project. Those are models are from, from Age of Sigmar. They are going to be used in the game Kings of War. Also looking really nice. And next, uh, we have a Camo, Camo Marines army. And there are some conversions done on, in here. And the guy wanted to have those Marines more like uh, soldiers in Camo. Next we have uh, Alvarez Predator that I showed you before. This is the finished project, how it looks together. Next we have uh, a really beautiful uh, Tao army in blue on the green grass. Also the color cho uh, chose it. Also the colors chosen by uh, the client were really spot on and the basing like fit really nicely and the green complements the blue really, really, really well and those are most of the models are on level 5, the drones are on level 4 there's a lot of magnetization done and uh, the, there are conversions for the uh, regular fire warriors and pathfinders where they are wearing boots because the guys that are operating this Tau force aren't actually Tau, those are humans next we have <coughs> next we have some grey knights with an awesome freehand done on the uh, Land Raider and uh, some alternative force weapons in different colors. Bases are also from Den of Imagination. You can find them at Den of Imagination shop if you're interested. Next, we have uh, this is our City Fighter Tau, the regular uh, Tau theme that we do. We did it, this theme back in 2013 and looking really cool. Bases are from MicroArt Studio, not from the Imagination this time. And next project we have an Ultramarines army. Those Ultramarines are really beautiful. Looking really well. Bases are from the Imagination, some alien infestation bases and ruined temple bases. And the client wanted to have a theme that those guys are fighting cells. Next we have a chapter done by our client. Those are Tempestus Griffons. Uh, and uh, the client told us that we nailed it really well. You can see at the repulsor tank a lot of storms. The armor of the guys is also <coughs> painted like they're in, uh, they're representing a stormy weather. There are griefing iconography everywhere on the dreadnoughts, on the bike. Really like this project. Big Blood Angels army that we did. This is the hugest Blood Angel force that we painted. It didn't even fit in the photo. Really, really nice Blood Angels. Uh, Legio, no, this is, uh, yeah, Legio Custodes army <coughs> with Sisters of Silence. Also really beautiful on snowy bases, ruined temple of imagination, again. Uh, and over here, uh, those are Astral Revenants. Also a chapter that is uh, made by one of our clients. Really like the color scheme. Something original for the Space Marine. Some beautiful Minotaurs on level 
6, I believe. One model is on level 5. <coughs> Grillbound models. Also looking really beautiful. Okay guys, thanks for watching this uh, studio update. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave a comment, and if you want some models painted, uh, be sure to write us an email at Den of Imagination, no, at service at Den of Imagination .com. I'm Darius from Den of Imagination, this has been an awesome studio update, thank you for watching, join in tomorrow, and be really good to your neighbors. Bye bye.